Hi guys, it's me Marcy. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I made a journal cover using locker hooking. In my previous video, I had promised you that in my next video, which is now this video, I'll be showing you how to make a journal cover using the locker hooking procedure. And so this is how the journal cover came out. You can see that it is so beautiful and it has a very nice texture which feels good to touch. So if you are interested in knowing how I was able to achieve this, please watch this video to the end. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you will not miss out on any of my videos. And so to begin with, these are the materials you are going to need. The plastic mesh, the book, in this case I'm using my Bible. Uh, you'll also need a pair of scissors, a locker hooking needle and pieces of fabric. I'll be adding more pieces of fabric as we proceed. So the first step is to trim the, the plastic mesh into the required size, which is the size of your book. And as you are doing this, be sure to leave uh, some allowance at the center because you want to open your book comfortably once you are done. The next step is to trim the pieces of fabric into thin strips, as you can see. So I have finished trimming my pieces of fabric and you can see that they are very many pieces and so I'm moving on to step number two. I'm folding the edges of my plastic mesh. I'm just folding the last two holes and then I'll be holding them together using a piece of fabric in order to secure my edges. Uh, if you watched my previous video, I told you that there are two ways in which you can choose to finish your edges. You can choose to leave the, the holes around the edges open and then you will come back to them at the end by crocheting one stitch per hole or you can either choose to square them. So in this video, I'll be squaring my edges. So as you can see, I'm just... Uh, crocheting one stitch per hole around the edges and I'll be doing this until I get back to the starting point to the place where I started and so with this um, the plastic mesh around the edges will be fully concealed So at this point I've already gone around all my edges and so I'll just be cutting the remaining pieces of fabric and then I'll move to the next step. The next step in, is now about the locker hooking. I've now started doing locker hooking uh, and I'll still be squaring around the corners. That means that when I get to the corner, I'll just be going back around until I get to the place where I started. So basically what locker hooking involves is making loops using one piece of fabric and passing another piece of fabric under the loops in order to lock them in place or to hold them in place. So at this point I'm going to show you how to join two pieces of fabric when one comes to the end. So you'll make a hole on the piece of fabric which has come to the end and on the other piece of fabric which you want to join. Then you will insert it into the piece that has come to the end 
and on the hole you will insert one of its end and just pull so there you go you have the pieces attached to each other and so you will just continue doing local hooking i'm so sorry that in this video i'll be going a little bit faster and so uh if you are a beginner maybe you have never done local hooking before you may not be able to understand each and every detail of the steps which i'm going to take and so i'll advise that you click on the link in the description box below and it will lead you to my previous video which i made specifically and purposely for you once you watch that video then uh, you will be able to understand each and every detail and each and every steps each and every step that locker hooking involves okay i'm not saying that you stop watching this video you can choose to watch it to the end but here is my advice once you have finished watching this video please watch my previous video and then uh, you will be able to understand fully what locker hooking involves so you can see that i am slowly by slowly approaching the end of this side and so when i get to the corner I will just turn it and start going back so this is what we call squaring the edges or squaring the corners yeah
So at this point you can see that uh, we are almost approaching the, um, the end of this, uh, this part or this side because we have two sides. Yeah, so I have come to the middle part or to the part where I'll now be doing my my finishing I'm just on the final charges
And so there you go with the first leaf finished or the first part finished. And uh, this is how it looks on the underside. You can see that it's a little bit rough because of the part where we were joining the pieces of fabric to each other. But I'll just be trimming. So this is the closer view of how it looks. You can see how the edges have come out so perfectly. Yeah. I love the way the edges have come out and so I'll be repeating the same procedure for the other leaf and now this is the final look after I have done everything you can see how it looks on both sides and I can assure you that the texture is uh, so so nice yeah So I'll just give you a closer view so that you may be able to see it in, uh, in details. Yeah, so at this point, I just want to appreciate you for watching this video to the end. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or any suggestions. Yeah, leave them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.